Morning traders, Paul here with Gam Edge. Today is Wednesday, the 20th of July. Let's get started. Pause your players. Uh, please read this. It's important to you, important to us. If you agree, hit the play button. Market model has changed and has confirmed uh, the long side. The latest change is right down here. You can see this red line coming above the blue line. What that is, and we talk about this extensively within the Discord, this is a short-term moving average crossing over the longer term. It's a confirmation signal, and basically this is the best confirmation signal that we have of several. Um, you can see, looking back here, we had an initial entry. It failed here on the 14th. It rejoined later the 14th. Uh, we had another confirmation here on the 15th. It was off to the races, and then yesterday's action was very, very good. Um, so we've got uh, straight line confirmations to the bull side here. Note we are extended. We want to watch for a pullback. If we do pull back, um, we want to make sure that the cumulative tick does remain above the ribbons. But if this behavior continues, we will get what we call the ribbon inversion. Very strong, uh, very good at catching long-term trends have no idea if we're going to catch a long-term trend here or not, but it's shaping up and you can see how the progression works. I would urge you to be thinking very seriously of long positions in your portfolio. Index condition day over day uh, is improving significantly. Um, we've got a drop in net negative gamma and an increase in net positive gamma on the SPX, the SPY, the Qs, and the IWM. You can see here on the SPX that uh, this little bar that I've drawn here shows a major visual change between the ratio of the net negative gamma and net positive gamma. So not only are we seeing the calls go in and the puts come out in the short term, we're actually seeing something that we call parity. And when we have parity and uh, see this continuing to increase on a day over day basis, we have, uh, again, more conviction to the long side and it's, it's worthwhile to, uh, to pay attention to this. Qs are also showing that same parity that I showed in the SPY. IWM, not so much, but IWM is improving. We've got put uh, gamma coming out, call gamma going in, not a lot. It's been broken for months, but you get the idea. Volatility, we're seeing some puts go in, which is constructive to the bulls. We're seeing calls come out, again, in the net, net, uh, net gamma conditions. And why that's relevant is that uh, this is showing a decrease in volatility is anticipated. That being said, I want to point this out. This is the call side of, of the distribution on where the expiries are going. And you can see they're targeting the Septembers, uh, both on the call side, which is here, and the put side, which is here. Now, the puts are most likely being added down in this area. It's very possible these are being sold to fund these. So use your tools to take a look. But the key takeaway here is that there is some positioning for a uh, expansive event, uh, bearish event, uh, out through um, September. True delta and gamma zeros here. Key takeaway is over here on the SPXA. I want to uh, show you that we've got spot price going up. In fact, it's above the true gamma um, zero for the SPXA, the AM settled instrument. Uh, this doesn't normally occur, as you can see and look back in time. So this is a little abnormal. We want to pay attention to that. It could be a change in, in overall directionality. But we have a divergence. We have basically the true delta zero, which is a longer term view, still going down. And so is the short term gamma. When we see these divergent from here, this is indicative of puts being added to the complex or calls being closed, mostly puts being added and dropping the, uh, the price invariant zeros down. We want to pay attention to that because this is a bearish divergence. SPX structure. Uh, we had two things occur since yesterday. We had what we call negative trans or minus trans. This uh, is a level that at this strike and all strikes below it, we are net negative. This has moved up. When this moves up, we're seeing puts being added into the complex and or calls being closed. And the same thing here with uh, minus GEX. We saw it move up from 37 to 3,800. Why that's key is that now we've got more puts at 3,800 that are exposed than we're at 37. So either the 37s were monetized and closed out, which is, is 
probably what's happening, or there has been, uh, highly unlikely, but there has been some calls that were, uh, were closed out here at the 38, exposing the net uh, gamma here at 38 um, accordingly. Don't know. Um, we'll have to look at other tools, but the key takeaway, and we ran some tests here today, these are typically bearish type of indications. Uh, we did run some tests this morning, and uh, when we see this, it's virtually flat. Remember, we have a new bullish signal in the cumulative tick, and in this type of market environment, uh, there's not much of an edge when we take a look at these going up with a combined with a new long signal. So, um, you know, the path is to the north here. 39.75 is positive trends above this strike. Um, we are net positive gamma on the SPX, and we want to pay attention to that. Taking a look at the key levels, the PM is here on the left, the AM and uh, PM is here on the right. Obviously, the 4,000 strike uh, still looms large. The 4,005 is here. Note, though, compared to yesterday, we're seeing a major transition into the green. What that typically means is that we're losing a lot of the downside negative gamma and uh, the upside positive gamma or call gamma is starting to dominate. Want to pay attention to this. The more green we get, uh, the better it is for the bulls. If we start seeing a reversal here, obviously the bears uh, are winning the battle. When we take a look at the PM settled, uh, you can see a lot of green starting to appear here in the net uh, delta notionals. That's a very big deal. Uh, up here, we're seeing a major change in the PMs. We've got uh, effectively uh, a major drop here in the 4,000 strike. It went from uh, a very, very negative number over the last couple days to now a positive number. We're still seeing the JPM hedges up here at uh, 4,005, still showing a net negative value, but the gamma levels here are significantly improved. And that's a, that's a big deal. That opens the door for this 4,000, 4,005 area to be taken out. No question or no wonder why we closed here at 39, 35. It's a little hiding place for overnight. Uh, not a lot of gamma exposure, not a lot of delta exposure, as you can see. And you can see today in the, in the overall uh, PM complex, uh, 3950, 75, and 3990 look to be key levels here. Uh, taking a look at the zero DTE, uh, very positive ex uh, expiry today. Again, you can see why we closed at that 39.35. It's a nice hiding transition area. Gamma levels are, are minimized in this area, very small delta levels in this area. That's a nice hiding place for the de uh, dealers. Uh, you can see here at 4,000, 4,005 is a real key here. Uh, above that level, we lose all impact from the, uh, the zero DTE. But getting up through here obviously changes the money in this equation, and this is going to carry a lot of stocks with it, too. To the downside, virtually <laughs> very, very little uh, downside put protection coming off. When we do see monetization, if we see any monetization, that could put downward pressure on the markets. Uh, just be aware of that. Um, we may have a slight bias down if the cash settled. So there is no real requirement to, uh, to monetize these in, uh, before the close. But if we do see that, we could see some downward pressure as the dealers have to uh, uh, sell uh, as these long calls are, are being closed. Again, note the major levels of uh, net delta notional all being positive. When we take a look at the combo, this is everything, the AM and the PM settled in. Here's the transition area that you can see here. Uh, you can see that we've got a lot of green developing here. We've got the uh, green gamma here. Here's the 4,000 strike right across here. Note that uh, even though we've got uh, combined a negative 16 billion in net uh, notional here on the deltas, this is easily absorbed. Uh, just given recent history, we're negating this day over day. We're seeing the uh, gamma grow a significant amount at 4,000 to the plus side. We're seeing this being reduced uh, from over uh, 4,000 now down to a negative 2,000, uh, which is positive. This is all very constructive for the bulls. If we continue to see calls being added to the complex and these numbers being negated, there's no reason we couldn't push through 4,000, 4,005, and then our upside targets would be here. Um, you know, initially at uh, 4025, but you can see if we uh, can get above 4025, we could start pushing up into 4050. 
Taking a look at the overall uh, SPX structure, you can see the growth of these spikes, and I've highlighted those here. The JPM calls are being neutralized. This is getting smaller and smaller, even as we get closer and closer to it. That's not the behavior you expect. As spot gets closer to a gamut, you expect it to grow. This tells you visually that uh, people are targeting that 4,000, 4,005 area and, about, and are about to, uh, to neutralize the impact of the JPM short legs. Uh, down here on the put side of the equation, significant reduction overnight or since yesterday and overnight into the levels here. Uh, this is bullish, uh, but it's also problematic because we're removing downside protection. Now, part of this is because we did scoot up. Uh, we're still at the base of transition here, by the way. But the key takeaway here is that we are seeing puts come out, not necessarily go in. And this is independent of what we saw for the uh, TDA and or TZA and um, true gamma zero and true delta zero uh, for the SPXA, everything else is showing that puts are coming out of the complex and that is problematic to the downside protection. So we're going to want to watch this and we're going to want to see this start to, uh, to develop much like what we've been watching the call structure develop up here. Read these bubbles, they're important. Uh, we uh, need to continue to push higher here, 3950, 4000 uh, are, are all within range. So what's the summary for today? Again, the market model has signaled uh, a longer term trend, uh, must still evolve. Um, so it's gonna take a little bit of time for that market model to go, but uh, it's, it's really good. Uh, the daily change on the wing charts are, is bullish, uh, no question. Uh, as I was just saying, the SPX AM settled zeros uh, have moved down, which is a contra trend right now. We wanna pay attention to that, just keep that in the back of our mind. And we do think the next target to close is 4,000 to 4,005. If we can get above that, that opens up the door. This is a major level, so we'll see where we go. So that's it for today. If you liked uh, today's content, please come join us at gammaedge.us. Uh, click on that pricing tab, and uh, it'll take you into the Discord. You get 14-day free trial. All the tools turned on. It's a, um, it's a good group. I really enjoy uh, working with everyone there. We've got traders of all experience levels and all different skill sets, and they bring their own trading methodology to the table. So it's a lot of fun. Follow us on Twitter, please, here, Gamma Edges with an S. And then here on YouTube, of course, if you like today's content, smash that like button. Let us know that you, uh, you liked it, you watched it. And, uh, of course, follow us so that next time we post something, you can be, be contacted. So with that, uh, have a good hump day. Uh, good luck to everyone. Remember, uh, the long side, uh, we're, we're a little extended. We could pull back, but uh, it's worthwhile to, uh, to look at your portfolio and say, how do I start positioning to the long side um, and start increasing my long exposure? Uh, all within risk uh, structures, of course, and of course, paper trading only. With that, I bid you farewell. We'll see you in the Discord. Take care.